Anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction that can develop within seconds or minutes of being exposed to an allergy trigger or allergen. A person who is experiencing anaphylaxis may have trouble breathing and go into shock. Because anaphylaxis is life-threatening, it is critical to act quickly to stop or slow its effects. To recognize anaphylaxis, look at the situation and the person's signs and symptoms. If you know that the person has been exposed to an allergen, look for trouble breathing or signs and symptoms of shock. Remember that signs and symptoms of shock may include excessive thirst, pale, cool, moist skin, changes in level of consciousness, and a rapid, weak heartbeat. A known exposure plus trouble breathing or signs and symptoms of shock equals anaphylaxis. If you think the person may have been exposed to an allergen, look for any two of the following signs and symptoms. Any skin reaction, such as hives, itchiness, or swelling. Swelling of the face, neck, tongue, or lips. Trouble breathing. Signs and symptoms of shock. Nausea, vomiting, cramping, or diarrhea. Any two of these signs and symptoms, in combination with suspected exposure to an allergen, equals anaphylaxis. If you do not know whether the person has been exposed to an allergen, look for any skin reaction or swelling of the face, neck, tongue, or lips. If the person has a skin reaction or swelling, and the person is having trouble breathing or showing signs and symptoms of shock, then assume anaphylaxis. When you recognize that a person is experiencing anaphylaxis, have someone call 911 or the designated emergency number immediately. If the person has a prescribed epinephrine autoinjector, help him or her to use it. Remember that anaphylaxis is a care-first situation, so if you are alone, help the person first and then call 911 or the designated emergency number. While you wait for help to arrive, make sure the person is sitting in a comfortable position or have the person lie down if he or she is showing signs of shock. Provide reassurance. If the person is still having signs and symptoms five to 10 minutes after the first dose and emergency responders have not arrived, help the person administer a second dose if another auto-injector is available.